the name Aotearoa, which is the Māori name for New Zealand, came about when the great ancestors, when they first came to New Zealand, Kupe was the captain of, of one of the canoes, the first person to arrive to New Zealand. A woman on his boat looked out and saw there was a long cloud formation and she uttered the words, He Aotearoa, a long white cloud. And so the name of New Zealand became Aotearoa, the land of the long white cloud. My name is Jason King and I teach Māori development, I teach Māori leadership, I teach Māori language. Being Māori enables me to have a different way of thinking um, and a lovely way of articulating my thoughts and my emotions and celebrating who I am every minute, every second of the day. And being Māori means that we can say where we come from, who we are, why we are, and how we got to be here. There's a balance, and simply the word just means to be normal. Kia ora, ko Anahira tōku ingoa, my name's Anahira. I teach te reo Māori, so I'm helping the revitalisation of the language. A marae is like a huge complex. It includes the whare nui, what you see behind me. Uh, for me, the marae is a place for the community. I really enjoy bringing people into the Māori world and like breaking their preconceived conceptions of what Māori are and who they claim to be. We're not just um, people who are savages, who are natives and who would eat people and all these, all these stories that would come out. We're actually kind people who are hospitable and who actually are quite clever with the way we do things, um, who are inspiring, who encourage others to learn their own culture. And it's no surprise that most of our classes are filled with non-Māori people wanting to learn Māori language and Māori culture. Protocols, customs, you name it. People have started to strip away their goggles of colonisation to um, really look deeper into what the Māori culture is all about. I just hope that they feel a sense of belonging to the space, that they're always accepted and welcome. That's all I want every, anybody to feel when they come, when they're officially welcomed onto our marae. So I was actually um, supported by my grandparents to pursue the Māori world, which is very interesting considering that my grandparents lived in an age where they were abused for practicing their culture, for using their language every day.